What's up, guys? M3 Notes Hoops back today with another video. And really quick, I wanted to thank you guys for all your love and support on the two most recent vids. We're getting the hundreds of views. Man, that just means a lot to me to know that, you know, you guys are still here. Um, so don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Again, we're trying to hit 600 by the end of the month. And we're trying to hit 1K by the end of the year. I know it's a bit ambitious, but what is a dream or get it? Not ambitious. Nothing. Um, so, guys, today we are talking about who most people would probably have right now is the early favorite to win MVP, Luka Doncic. This man has been on a tear. Now, last game against Denver last night, he played good. But the game against, of course, my Chicago Bulls, he didn't play good and we still lost. So, uh, classic Bulls. Um, but Luka's just been on an absolute tear, you guys. Like, the splits he's been putting up, it's nothing short of ridiculous. So today, guys, we're going to get into some analysis. So let's get right into it. First, we're going to talk about just Lucas scoring alpha, which has been, again, nothing short of absolutely ridiculous. Um, putting up about 33 a game. Here he gets the beautiful screen action. And then he gets the one-on-one -on -one that he truly wants. And this is what I like so much about it. He gets him into the low post, takes advantage, gets the size. And because his man takes too long to respond, he just easily gets up with it and puts it in at the rim. And that's what I think is so great about what Lucas has been doing. Is that he's just been so using his body to his advantage. Again, look at this. Just again, he gets his body head down, right? But the one issue is you got to respect Luka as a passer. So you see, I believe that's Dorian Finney-Smith. You have to go over to Maxi Kleber to actually respect him, right? And then you only have these two in front of you. And again, he just waits until his man is just a little bit more ahead of him. Just by a little bit. So then get that separation and the flick and the layup. And again, that's just what he does so well. So again, Luke is here going to get at this screen and roll. Got Cam Thomas. Creates separation. And just gets the easy bucket. Again, that's just what he does so well is creating the separation and to be able to attack. It's just nothing short of remarkable. By the way... Already, I kind of want to point something out here, guys. So, there is this idea that Luka off ball just does absolutely nothing. Now, I say Steph Curry off the ball or anything magnificent off the ball. That would just be a lie. But I think it's also a lie to say he does absolutely nothing off the ball. Um, let's just take a look. Luka here gets us great and get Kyrie the advantage off of Mikel Bridges. It sends Ben Simmons over. Now he has Ben Simmons on him. He gets the move. And Mikel Bridges already isn't paying much attention. Off this little screen action that he gets, he rolls over to the wing. Has one man on him. There's just too much space. And you give Luka enough time. So then, I believe this is when we get into Luka just as a sheer playmaker. And this right here, Derek Lively, the second, I believe his name is. Uh, the second, I don't remember. It's the second. Or, uh, Junior. But let's just take a look again. He gets the staggered screen action. And what I love about the staggered screen action is that Lively more so uses it as an advantage to roll the rim versus just getting Luka an uh, 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 open rim run. Because again, look. Jaron Jackson and Desmond Bain are just totally focused on the idea that Luka's rolling to the rim. And instead, just, like, just so softly lifts it up above Jaron Jackson Jr.'s reach to get it to Derek Lively for the beautiful dunk. And this is just what Luke has been looking for his whole career, really, like a true role man. Um, again, just take it like, that's the thing about Luka that I think makes him a top five to four lock player in this league. Just take a look. Luke is going into the post. Desmond Bain. His man is all the way over here. Now, of course, you can say in part that's due to, you know, a uh, um, lapse in deep. But this dude, Luca, got a dude in the post, and they start treating him like he's a center. And they just try and double. And again, just gets the wide open look for three. And it's just what Luca does, and it's nothing short of incredible. And it's just what's so insane to see you guys, like, in all seriousness. Um, Again, look, out the double in the post. That's what I think has been so impressive, too, is Luke has really been using the post as advantage. He's got Marcus Smart on him. 
And he said, get the hell off of me. Actually, I lie. I don't think this mark is smart. My apologies. <laughs> but he gets his man in the post. Jaron Jackson again goes over to double. Desmond Bain is watching. They're all ball watching. Which, first of all, kind of proves the point about Luka being off the ball. Because even when Luka probably doesn't have the ball, they're watching. Where is Luka going? Because Luka, with Kyrie being out, I believe, most of the games. He played last night against Denver. He played their opening against uh, the Spurs. And he played their game against Brooklyn. And I think he missed like two games. So three out of the five games they played this year. Just take a look. You get the double. The man's wide open here for three. There's three wide open bodies, by the way. And Luca just gets the read to the wide open man right there. And it's too simple. Honest to God, it's too easy. And there's Marcus Smart. Puts the ball up. Transition. This is what I love, too. He slows the play down. Which I think is smart. Because at this point, you're now making defense and sort of have to make a read. Maxi Cleaver. Wide open. Because again, they collapse on the Luka drive. So just easy bucket. It's too simple. It's just too simple. Uh, now I want to talk a little bit about another assist that I just... This was... Guys... This is remarkable. All right, just boop, boop, behind the back. Sets him up easy three. They're tripling him or doubling him at the, at the perimeter. They didn't even treat the basketball. And they just said, no, 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 no. We're, we're going to close in on this action here real quick. He, Yoga just shoves off Max and Cleaver. He said, no, 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 no. Luca's not scoring on me. And, and just leaves the wide open man for a three. It's just too simple. Now, I also have a play here showcasing a little bit of Luca's defensive effort. Um, Jackson gets the ball. Luca gets a little bit of a poke. Luca's been a little bit more active. A lot of people like to give him credit for. Um, I think Luca's been nothing short of remarkable. Like, again, I mean, we can even take a look. Again, I have no issue kind of live and authentic me. And I always want you guys to sort of see it. So you're going to see through my process. But... If my computer loves to, you know, actually communicate and uh, show things. But 50 50 shot on that. No, not going to lie. Uh, you have Luca. I mean, the man's averaging 34, 10, and 9 on 50, 45 from the three. I mean, he's not an incredible free throw shooter. I'm sorry. Right now, this is probably MVP. There's only one other player, or two, I guess, depending on how you value it. Um, you have Jason Tatum in Boston, who a lot of people also have, and it's probably an MVP favorite right now. And my personal preseason pick was at first Giannis, but then he got Dame. So at that point, I just threw that out the window. I said, there's no way in hell they're going to give him MVP. To me, Steph Curry could be the MVP winner this season. I would not be shocked at all. Um, but right now, it's Luka. I mean, the team's 4-1. and one. I don't care who they played against. You got to win who's in front of you, right? Because, again, I mean, the Jason Tatum is the MVP favorite. They also didn't really play a whole lot of incredible teams either. So, to me, what Luka is doing right now, I don't know how sustainable it all is. You know, I mean, the scoring obviously is. I mean, the man's averaged 32 last year. and He's managed to bring his output up two points on the same amount of shots. Um the, I do think the three ball is probably going to come down to earth a little bit. 45% out of 11 threes is, is immaculate. If he does keep that, uh, you got it. And if he averages a triple-double, a triple-double with 34 a game, yeah, just give him the award. I, I don't get, I, I don't care. That That's an MVP. Let me know who you guys think is the MVP coming in to this season. Or, you know, like, who do you have as your early season MVP? Uh, MVP. Do you have a Jason Tatum as your MVP? A uh, Steph Curry? Who do you guys got as your MVP of the league coming into the early part of this season? I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown. It's been incredible as always to do. As always, guys, this is Answer Nose Hoops. Have a blessed rest of your day, guys. Just leave a like, comment, subscribe, enjoy basketball. Leave a comment in the description. Who you want me to talk about next? What do you think of Luka as MVP? Do you agree, disagree? Do you think this is just early season and then, you know, the rest of the year is going to happen and he's going to fall out due to either the Mavs in the standings or just his play, you know, 
coming a little bit more down to earth. So let me know what you guys think down below. Have an incredible rest of your day, guys. Peace out.